Hi, Melanie Minshinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I'm going to be sharing how easy it is to make a single layer card with my new Lots of Letters 2 set. I use the letters from this set, they all are capitals. It coordinates with the Lots of Letters set that has this lowercase letters. Plus I have all these decorative elements that you can use with the letters or by themselves. I'm going to be showing you how you can use the little leaf elements in this set to create your own flowers around those circles that I've added as little tags or frames for the letters. Very minimal supplies today. You will need this set, some white cardstock. This is the Gina K Pure Luxury. You'll need some small blocks for those small images and the letters. And for ink pads, you will need the black onyx ink for your letters. For your petals, I've got the Red Hot, the Ocean Mist, the Sweet Mango, and finally the Memento Lies Lap Posies. And these are the only colors ink you will need. We're going to be doing the stamping off technique on all the petals. So it's really going to look like I've got four colors on my card, or eight colors on my card, excuse me, instead of the four. So to begin, I am going to stamp out the flower centers. And without re-inking, I'm just gonna go space over a little bit for the second center and then back up again and down. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and add my letters. So I'm going to first stamp out love, black, so L, And I love this new image sheet. It's just so easy for me to stick it right back on. I'm not the most organized person, so beyond what you see here, sometimes it's kind of a mess. I don't always put all of my images back onto those storage boards, but now that I have this sheet, I know exactly where it goes. It's easy to put right back on, and then I can always find it later. And it's also jumped out at me a few times. I see immediately if something is missing, and I can go on the look look out for it before it is too far gone or lost in my stamp room. Okay, so there's the love. And I'm gonna add the yeah at the end after I have put all of my petals on to see exactly where I want it, but I'm gonna put it in that bottom corner. And you could obviously spell out something else, but this is just the design that kind of came to me when I was working on it. All right, so first of all, I'm going to use the oval that has the points on both ends. And I'm going to use the Red Hot ink. And the clear stamps make it very simple to see the edge of that circle. And I'm just gonna go around, just leaving a little bit of space, not measuring or anything, just eyeballing it. And if you stamp it again without re-inking, you're getting that nice paler red shade. And don't worry about if you end up having a little bit too much room or you end up having two of the bright red petals right next to each other, but that worked out pretty well, okay? Now I'm going to do the Ocean Mist one on here with the teardrop looking petal that has the line down the middle. So I originally intended that to be a leaf but I noticed, you know, that really looks like a folded petal that has a vein in the middle. So this would be perfect for creating flowers with, as well as leaves. And you'll see me use these as leaves in other videos. But see, I just love how fast stamping goes when you are stamping off. It's very little re-inking and you're getting that nice variety of colors and then I'm going to go ahead and use the smallest teardrop with this fuchsia color. And so you see on this one, I put the rounded edge toward the middle, but I'm getting a very different look when I'm putting the point towards the center. So different size and different shape and orientation makes it different. I forgot to do the stamping off there. Okay. 
And actually the reason why I had one fly over like that as if it were coming off, I did mess up my pattern, but then I realized, you know, that looks really sweet. I like to kind of break up the layout and I, I always love having like little falling petals just give some movement to the scene. And then last I'm going to use the little circle stamp in here and this is like a filler stamp for the small flower but you could also use this to make little round petals so I'm going to use the red hot ink again and so the way that I decided which color I was going to use where for each of these. I just kind of started stamping, but then I wanted the red on either side to balance that out. So you see I'm working backwards because again, I forgot to stamp off one time. Okay. All right. And oh, I forgot I also wanted to add just a little circle here. Forgot on my original card, instead of putting the O, I used a flower, but I can go back in and do that. Ah, it filled it in. So you kind of surprised me there. So I didn't get the petals, but I still like the way that looks. So we learned something new. If you want to have a circle within a circle, use the flower. I love that. Okay. And then last, I'm going to stamp the ya yeah in the corner. I just love making single layer cards. It's just so fast with no layering. You don't have the extra bulk. It just takes a little bit of paper and a clean white base is always really nice design. But what I was thinking about doing is adding one of those Spellbinders A2 Matting Basics dies to create an embossed panel around that. So I probably will add that later to this card just to give it a little bit more texture and interest and really center that design. And that's it. There's your card, quick and simple, lots of color. I hope you enjoy this card and this project. I hope you have a lot of inspiration for 